Welcome to yoga. Come down onto your back and stretch out on your mat. Bring the hands to your chest and stomach. And then take a slow breath in and sigh out. <sighs> Breathe in and gently arch your back. Sigh out, relax. And one more time, but raise the arms on your inhale. And exhale, relax. And then bring the arms next to the head or keep them there, hands to the opposite elbow. Eyes can stay closed as we just move into the hips a little bit. So raising one butt cheek and then the other. And then bring your feet onto the ground. You could give your arms a little stretch again as well if you wanted. Feet far apart and we're going to drop our knees to the left side and gently stretch it to the right side. If we want more, we're going to reach that right arm further away, maybe even hold onto the right wrist and pull at it. And then relax and change sides, knees go up and then drop to the right side and we might pull at the left wrist and just breathe into the left side. Slowly back and raise your arms, spread your fingers wide and point the fingertips towards the ceiling. Now send the fingertips to the front and send them towards you and keep your hands straight. And as we do that, because it's easy, raise your hips off the ground, not too far. Think of this as a Pilates bridge and not as a um, yoga bridge in which we're arching with just a tiny little rise. Good. And then hands into fists, thumbs inside, and we're going to draw a circle. And we circle the other way. And the arms stay high, we spread the fingers wide again. And we drop our left hip, raising the right knee a little bit more, coming onto the tiptoes. And going up again, we raise the left heel and drop the right hip, and go up again. And one more time on either side. Okay. And we push the hips a little bit higher. Arms stay where they are, but palms come together. And then hips stay where they are as we breathe in and we exhale and send the arms over to the left side. And with that, the torso moves over to the left. The shoulder is off the ground. Good. Now slowly come back, rolling onto the back again. Breathe in and breathe out. Send your arms to the right side. Raising my left shoulder and come back. And we slowly release, coming onto the back and hugging the knees in. Rock from side to side. Maybe even raise your head for a moment. Get towards the knees and come back down. Now stretch your left leg away from you and guide your right knee over to the left side. As always, in any way you like, really, the knee could be close to the uh, chest or left shoulder or could be further away. Just see what feels good for you. And slowly release. Bring your left knee in towards you, stretch your right leg away from you. And then guide your um, left knee over to the right side. Breathe into the left side and into your back. And release. Coming back, hug the knees in. And then reach the hands to your ankles, just the ankles to begin with. Knees push out. And we push the knees down as well. And then hands at the ankles. Start moving into your toes and then into your ankles by drawing a big circle with the toes. Don't think of this as happy baby yet, we're going to get to that. So don't worry how low the knees get and how high the feet are. Draw a circle the other way. And then hold on to your feet. Again, the hands could stay lower, of course, but this time we're flexing the feet up and we're pushing the knees down. We're also pushing the knees out a little bit and bring the feet a little bit further in. And 
And for the next three long breaths, we're going to push the knees as much down as we can. So lots of strength here in the hands, arms, shoulders. And long breaths. And then slowly release, arms and legs go up and we move into the hands and into the feet. And then from here, send the legs to the back and come all the way up. Cross your legs or sit on your heels. And then breathe in, raise your arms and look up. Breathe out, float the arms down and look down. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, arms come down. And as we inhale, the head goes up. As we exhale, the head goes down. And then from here, we squeeze the shoulder blades both on the way up and on the way down. Just keeping our shoulders active and feeling that everything we're doing is with a lot of intent. And next time you go up, stay up, breathe in and breathe out. Just reach the arms over to the right side, look up to the ceiling. Send the arms to the left side, look up to the ceiling. And back to where you were, float the arms down. Bring your left hand to the um, head and gently drop your ear towards the shoulder. And then try to imprint your right palm onto the ground. If you're sitting on the heels, you're probably not gonna manage, but that's not the idea. We just wanna feel that in our um, shoulder. And then from your hand, right hand stays where it is. Left hand goes to the back of the head and pushes the chin down towards the collarbone. And from here, holding onto the back of the head, raise the chin towards the ceiling, still staying on the left side, still pushing that right hand down. Now let go of the head. and release chin to chest round your arms round your back reach the arms forwards space between the shoulder blades and we inhale raise the arms and we exhale float the arms down we bring our right hand to the head to gently push the ear towards the shoulder push your left palm down into the ground towards the ground and hold Arm still pushes down as the right hand goes behind the head and we push the chin towards the collarbone. And just in case, make sure the jaw is relaxed. And right hand stays behind the head to begin with as we raise the chin towards the ceiling, staying on the right side. And then slowly release the hands. And from here, roll the chin to the chest. Round your arms, reach them forwards, round your back. And then from here, fingertips together, raise that left arm. Look to the left side. Drop the left arm, raise the right arm. Look to the right side. We'll do that two more times, opening up to the left, making sure we're still rounding the back here. And soften the arms, so round the arms. And we drop, and then we inhale, raise the arms, and look up to the ceiling. And we exhale and bring the hands to the heart center. And then from here, hands onto the shoulders, and we draw a circle with the elbows. And circle the other way. Elbows to the back, up, to the front, and down. And we shake it off. And come onto all fours. We'll just start by spreading the fingers as wide as we can. 
keeping the knees underneath the hips, wrists under the shoulders. We squeeze our shoulder blades and we push them apart. We squeeze and push apart and make sure that your neck is relaxed here. So we're neither arching nor rounding, we're neither dropping the head nor we're raising the head. But keep your neck comfortable and try to keep the neck muscles long. So get that feeling of stretching into the neck room. If this is starting to become boring or you feel you're warming up nicely, tuck your toes under, raise the knees and do the same thing here. Making sure that we're not going up and down here. Then release and then round the back, drop the head. On our next inhale, we'll arch gently and look to the front or up. And as we exhale, we we'll round the back and drop the head. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. Eyes closed if you want as you inhale and exhale and adjust your movement to this breath. Next inhale, stay in your arch, open the eyes, and then raise your right leg and bring the foot towards the head. Keep it there, your long arms, send your foot a little bit further over to the left side. Then from here, raise your right hand, grab hold of the foot, look to the back, look up to the ceiling, drop the head to the back. All just options, start with easy, so maybe just looking to the right side while you find your balance. And then going deeper. Good. From here, release. Right hand comes down. We round the back. We drop the head. Knee towards the dropped head. Inhale and arch. Foot to head. And exhale, round. Inhale and arch. Stay. Not over to the left this time. Bring your left hand to the right foot. Look to the back. And bend your right arm, bringing the elbow in towards you. Really push the foot into the hand and raise that knee. Release. Check that you've been breathing. <laughs> Round your back, drop the head. And then arch your back, raise the head. Stay and raise your left leg. Foot towards the head. Foot over to the right side. And then from here, uh, left hand to the left foot. We look to the back, we look up, we might even drop the head, but we stay where we feel that we are comfortable in balancing, that we don't have to concentrate too hard. And the breath stays the same. Good, on an exhale, the hand comes down, the leg stays high. We breathe in and we exhale and round our back, drop the head. We inhale and arch, looking up. We exhale and round, knee to the drop head. And last one, now inhale, arch, stay. Exhale, bring your right hand to the left foot. Look beyond the right shoulder and to the back. And then really raise that knee. Foot and hand have a strong connection here. And we bend the left arm. Round your back, drop the head, gently push your hips to the back, keep rounding the back. So think of this less as child's pose because we keep the back rounded. Fingertips on the ground. And then from here, look to the front, come to the front, drop your hips. Just drop the hips, don't worry whether they're on the ground or not. Drop your right hip and look beyond your left shoulder and all the way to the back. Drop your left hip, look beyond the right shoulder, and then look to the front, hips go as low as they can, we might look up to the ceiling, and then we tuck our toes under, push the hips to the back, and then push the hips up from here. 
first part with asanas, so give yourself time to get comfortable in the backs of the legs. And then from here, breathe in, raise your right leg. Breathe out, flex the foot, drop the heel. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, step to the front. Inhale, raise the right arm. And exhale, bring the hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, left foot to the ground, raise your left arm. Exhale, hand comes down. Heel goes off the ground again. Inhale, arms go up. Torso reaches up towards the ceiling as well. We breathe in and we breathe out and bring the hands down and step to the back. Drop your head. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, flex the foot, drop the heel. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, step to the front. Breathe in, left arm goes up. Breathe out, left hand to the inside of the foot. Right heel to the ground. Breathe in, right arm goes up. Breathe out, hand comes down. Heel goes off the ground again. Inhale, Ashra Sanchalanasan, arms go up, torso reaches high. Exhale, hands to the ground, step to the front, drop your head. Take a little moment here to shake off the hands. Bring your hands to your elbows and rock from side to side. If you want with your feet apart, if you want with your legs a little bent. And then from here, feet together, big toes touch, the inside of the heels touch, and we walk our fingertips forwards and then inhale and rise to standing, coming into a little back bend. Exhale, stay in that back bend, hands at the heart center. Breathe in, arms to the back. Breathe out, full forwards. Inhale, right leg to the back. Exhale, hips sink down, keep that leg off the ground. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, hands come down, step to the back. Breathe in, look to the front. Breathe out, drop your knees, hover your chest and chin. Inhale, drop your hips, raise the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes under, push the hips up. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, flex the foot, drop the heel. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, knee to the dropped head. Inhale, look to the front again, and exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Straighten your right leg, left heel off the ground. Breathe in, right arm goes up. Breathe out, hand comes down, step to the front. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, maybe going into that back bend again. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Stay in your back bend as you inhale and the arms go back. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, step your left leg to the back. Exhale, let the hips go down. Straighten that left leg. Keep it off the ground if you can. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step into a plank. Breathe in, look to the front. Breathe out, Chaturanga Dandasan. We can bring the knees to the ground if we want. Inhale, upward dog. Cobra is also allowed. <laughs> and exhale, push the hips up, drop the head. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, flex the foot, drop the heel. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, knee to the dropped head. So we're pointing the toes, but that leg is really bent, hips low. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, step the foot to the front. Straighten the left leg, right heel off the ground. Breathe in. Raise your left arm. Breathe out, step into a forward fold. Breathe in, Kargasa, that's that deep squat. It's okay to come into a chair, that's fine as well. Fold forwards and inhale, get ready for a back bend. Exhale, stay in that back bend, hands to the heart center. Breathe in, arms to the back. Breathe out, fold forwards. Breathe in, right foot steps back. Breathe out, left foot steps back. Hold your breath, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, arch, cobra, or upward dog. And exhale, push the hips up. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the dropped head. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Breathe in, leg goes up. 
Breathe out, step the foot in between the hands. Keep your right leg bent. Inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, drop the arm behind you. Maybe go for a bind. If it's too early, we can, we will get that chance later on as well. Good, with your bind, keep your bind. If you don't have a bind, bring that left hand to the ground, right hand can drop behind you. Straighten your left leg, raise your, uh, straighten your right leg, raise your left leg. Breathe in and breathe out into a forward fold. Inhale, rise to standing, add a back bend and exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, left foot to the back. Exhale, right foot to the back. Hold your breath, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, push the hips up. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the dropped hip. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, leg goes up. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, left arm goes up. Exhale, left arm drops behind us. So for everyone, right hand can now stay where it is or go to the outside of the left leg for a bind. Good, and then from here, Lose the bind if you want to, or keep it if you have had it. Otherwise, right hand on the ground. As we step the right foot forward, straighten the left leg, raise the right leg off the ground. And then from here, into a forward fold, drop your head. Inhale, rise and come into a back bend. Exhale, stay in your back bend, hands to the heart center. Breathe in, arms go back. Breathe out, fold forwards. Breathe in, right foot to the back. Breathe out, left foot to the back. Hold your breath, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Breathe in, upward dog or cobra. Breathe out, mountain pose. Breathe in, step your right foot to the front. Breathe out, step your left foot to the front. Breathe in, come up and arch. Breathe out, hands to the heart center. So entirely optional. Inhale, arms go up and over. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, left foot to the back. Exhale, right foot to the back. Hold your breath, drop down. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push the hips up. Inhale, left foot to the front. Exhale, right foot to the front. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Breathe in, arms go up. Breathe out, fall forwards. Breathe in, right foot to the back. Breathe out, left foot to the back. Hold your breath, drop. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push the hips up. Inhale, right foot to the front. Exhale, left foot to the front. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, left foot goes back. Breathe out, right foot goes back. Hold your breath, drop down. Inhale and arch. Exhale and push the hips up. Inhale, left foot to the front. Exhale, right foot to the front. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Breathe in, arms up or to the back. Breathe out, fall forwards. Breathe in, drop your hips, raise the arms. Breathe out, sink lower. Inhale, look up. Exhale, make your way into a plank or a low plank. Inhale, drop your hips, raise the chest. Exhale, push your hips up. Good, now we'll slow it down a little bit, staying a bit longer in each posture. Inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, bring the knee to the dropped head. Good, stay. Inhale, raise the leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Sink your hips down, left foot could go further back. We inhale and raise the arm, right arm even. <laughs> and we exhale and drop that arm behind us. As before, we could find a bind or we could stay exactly where we are. 
If you're comfortable in your body, then you normally look to the back. See if it changes anything if you look up. The release from here and slide into the side plank, right arm to the front, right leg to the back. So breathe in and exhale, come into a plank. If we're tired, we can just drop our hips from here, otherwise a little chaturanga dandasan, and then we drop the hips. And we push the hips up as we exhale, and then breathe in, left leg goes up. Breathe out, knee to the dropped head. Remember, stay hips quite low. And then inhale, leg goes up again. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, left arm goes up. Exhale, drop the arm behind you. Stay here if you want or find a bind. Find bind, a rind. Good. If you've got a bind, release the right hand to the ground. Left arm goes to the front. And we come onto the outer edge of the right foot and very slowly slide that left foot to the back. Look down, make sure the right hand is happy. Look up. Maybe look to your left hand. Good, release into a plank. Breathe in, and as you exhale, either stay or drop into a low plank. Inhale, drop your hips, raise the chest. And exhale, push your hips up, drop the hips. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. This time bring your left heel to the ground. Inhale, raise your arms, straighten the torso and then drop your right hand behind you. Bring your left hand to your right hand, but joining at the bottom or left hand as always to the right elbow. Good, close your eyes here. And allow your breath to return to normal. Hopefully we're staying long enough for everyone for that to happen. And a couple more breaths here. And we open the eyes, we breathe in. And as we exhale, we reach the right arm to the front, left arm to the back, maybe sending that left foot a bit further back. Palms open, and we look to the front. We raise the right heel, sinking the hips further down. We lower the right heel. And we do a few more like that. If you want to miss that out, miss it out. Just focus on the posture. Heel down for everyone, reach for the front, drop your left hand, send your right arm to the back, look to your right hand, stretch and breathe into the right side, inhale and exhale, right arm onto the right leg, and we look up. You stay here or lower the torso a little bit more, binding in our extended side angle. from here and bring our hands to the ground straighten your right leg allow your left foot to adjust maybe it's just the toes coming a little bit further forwards maybe that whole foot comes further forwards and then the right arm goes up and we look up to the ceiling and rather than thinking ah here we are let's focus on the right hip push it to the back so always try to deepen for you We 
Release the right hand. Hands could come onto your leg or they could stay on the ground as you drop your torso. Both legs still straight. And the head is dropped as well. Good. Now hands slowly walk up your leg until the torso is straight and parallel to the ground. And we bend the leg and we inhale and raise the arms and exhale, open up into warrior two. This time straighten your right leg and reach for the front and then drop your right hand, raise your left arm and look up to the ceiling. Or send your left arm to the front and look to your left hand. You could open the palm to the ceiling here, look to your fingertips. Good, the left arm goes to the back. We drop the hand somewhere towards the right waist, bend your right leg, bring your right arm underneath. Again, this is optional, but if you've got a bind, then keep that bind as you step to the front. If you don't have a bind, don't worry. Just step to the front into a forward fold. And then once in your forward fold, raise your right leg. And as you come up, your right leg comes up with you. And obviously keep your bind if you have it into bird of paradise. And once we're straight in the spine, not a second before that, we straighten the right leg if we can. Breathe, hold, and then from here, nice and slowly, send your right leg to the back, hands come to the heart center, and then the torso comes down. Hands could stay at the heart center as the leg goes up. Hands could, of course, come to the ground if they're needed. Good, hands to the ground for everyone. Step the right leg to the back, drop your right knee to the ground and untuck your toes. And then straighten your torso, raise the arms. The crown of the head reaches for the ceiling. We look to the front. And then we drop our elbows, pushing them down until they're aligned with the shoulders. From here, palms open, we push the elbows and hands to the back. Good. Back bend if we want. Hands could go wherever they're helpful. Easiest, of course, hands onto the hips here. So we've got that support. If you're very deep, you could walk your hands towards the back on the ground. Um, so just anyone, everyone adjust to what feels good for them. And if you're very deep in your back bend, try not to drop the head to the back. Try to keep looking up. We look to the front, bring the hands forwards, left hand onto the left knee, push the knee up. Good. Now stay here, just focus on the left hip. Even if you decide to go further, just focus on the left hip for now. Further meaning, grab hold of the right foot with the left hand, but not yet. I will give that option. Good. If we do want to go for that bind, raise the right foot, grab hold of the foot, but make sure that you're still focusing on the left hip. Release very gently and tuck your right toes under. And as that right uh, left knee comes back, left foot firmly on the ground, you're raising the right leg off the ground. Just the right knee, sorry. Now grab hold of your left big toe, slide onto the outer edge of the right foot, and try to keep your bind here as you raise that um, left leg. Don't do as I do. <laughs> And if it's too much, we lose the bind. Look down to the ground. 
and then release into a plank. Drop into a low plank if you like, take a little rest on the ground if you want. Breathe in, drop your hips, raise the chest, and breathe out, hips go up. Good. When we're ready, inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Right heel to the ground. Inhale, Virgadrasana, one more, one. As we exhale, we drop the left hand, we grab hold of the left hand with the right. And we push our left hip to the back. And this is a little bit of a breather from flowing. We needed it more in the first round, I think, than in the second. But even here, we want to focus on the breath. So we close the eyes, we just let the breath come and go. It will still be different. It will still not be what it was when we were lying down. So we let that pranic response happen. In through the nose, out through the nose. Even if it's tempting to breathe through the mouth. Just a few more breaths here. And then we release. This time, palms of the hands face down as we come into warrior two. And we slide the shoulders down. We sink into the left leg. We stay right here, or we raise the left heel and we lower it. So if we did this on one side, we'll probably do it on the other side as well. But as always, it's up to you. left heel comes down for all of us we sink into the left leg keep re uh, sinking into the left leg as you reach forwards and then inhale reverse warrior left arm to the back right hand onto the left waist look to your left hand right hand stays where it is as we exhale and drop the left arm onto the left leg and look up to the ceiling and what we don't want is the hips to come to the back so keep the hips where they are in line with your heels and if you can keep them there as you come further down and bind then that's fine but if you're binding and the hips are pushing to the back of you now then lose your bind keep looking up to the ceiling and remember if you are binding and it's the fingertips then it doesn't matter but the moment you can grab hold of more try to grab hold of the right hand with the left hand rather than um, of the left hand with the right. So meaning, if you can hold onto the wrist, you'll hold onto the right wrist, not the left. Look down. If you don't have a bind, just step into a forward fold. If you've got your bind, keep it as you step the right foot to the front. And then slowly from here, rise. Taking that left leg with you, straightening the spine. Straighten your left leg if you want, but again, it's optional. Hope you can still see me here. I'm going to step back a little bit. Right. From here, nice and slowly, bring the hands to the heart center. Send your left leg to the back. The leg straightens as the torso comes forward. We don't stay. We just go via warrior three and come down into standing Let's, again, if you can't keep the hands at the heart center, bring them to the ground. And definitely keep your neck relaxed. Good. Now step that left foot to the back, hands on the ground, of course. Left knee drops, we're coming into Anjaniyasana, so nice and low here in the hips. And the toes are untucked. We raise the arms, we look up, and we look back to the front. We just let the spine go higher, and then drop your elbows, bring them 
to your waist, hands in line with the elbows. Push the elbows to the back, shoulders to the back, hands to the back. And keep looking to the front. Now from here into a back bend if we want. Remembering that as we're going into this back bend, we want to make sure the hips stay low, so we're not raising the hips to bend backwards. And we slowly release, bring the hands to the front, push your right hand to the right knee and push the knee out. We can come into the outer edge of the right hip, but we don't have to. We just start twisting and focus on the right hip. Slowly and only if we want to, we'll grab hold of the left foot with the right hand. Grab hold of the right big toe, tuck your left toes under and straighten the leg and make your way into a side plank, raising that right leg from here. And look down to the ground, make sure the left hand is happy. Release from here into a plank, drop your torso, arch your back, push the hips up, raise your left leg and step forwards. Right heel to the ground, straighten your left leg, raise your left arm, push your left hip to the back. And release, drop your torso, And slowly from here, walk your hands up your leg until your torso is parallel to the ground. Both legs are straight, right hip is pushing to the front. Now bend your leg and breathe in, raise the arms, breathe out, warrior two. Good. From here we straighten the left leg and we reach forwards and drop into a triangle. And look up to the ceiling. Always send the arm to the front and look to the fingertips. Good. We bend our left leg a little bit and look down to the ground. Hover that left hand, step that right foot to the front, go back a little bit more, and then raise your right leg. Slowly look to the side. Maybe flex the right foot, maybe come a little bit lower. Maybe bring your left hand onto the ground. You could look up to the ceiling. And we release, bring the hand down, bring the right foot down. Step your left foot to the back, bend into your right leg. Raise the right hand off the ground. Keep looking to the ground here as you shift your weight into that right leg. And then adjusting where exactly you want to be. And then from here, release into a forward fold. Drop your head. Bring your feet apart, hands to the opposite elbow. Bend your legs. Let yourself hang. And then from here, hands to the ground. Drop the hips. Heels firmly on the ground. Hands come to the heart center. 
and we look to the front. We check that the neck is okay. Or in a little circle or half circle. And then from here, we either open up to the side, bringing the right hand onto the ground, raising the left arm and twisting, or we bring the hands onto the ground, raise the hips, and raise our feet off the ground. If you're twisting, you can drop that left hand behind you and bring the right arm to the front and keep it in front of the leg as you might find a bind. And if you're in Bakasan in your crow and you want to come into a tripod headstand, then you can try that too. And you've got time because we're going to do the other side of that twist. Raise your right arm, left hand on the ground. Just stay there, we're in no rush. Everyone who's in a headstand, you could try to come into Chaturanga Dandasan from here. We're going to drop that right arm behind us, left arm goes around that left leg and we bind. back down into the ground. If you were in Chaturanga, you're probably in your mountain now. Step, jump to the front and drop your buttocks to the ground. We all come down into the back and head the knees in towards us. And then take a deep breath in and sigh out. And I'm going to raise the legs up towards the ceiling, hands onto the chest and stomach to feel the heartbeat and to feel our breath and to allow both to adjust. And if legs up the wall, if um, Ardhalas and that half bow gets too much here, you could just bring the feet onto the ground. You notice the breath becoming a little bit slower. As you do, reach for your feet, bend your legs, coming back into Anand Balas and the happy baby. Just see how that feels maybe a little bit different than the beginning. Try to remember to push the knees out as well as down to feel that a little bit more deeply in, in the adductors and flex the feet and then try not to push them out too much, push them very gently in, just a tiny little bit. Good, now we'll go further from here, raising the buttocks, rounding our lower back. Lower back comes off the ground as the knees come onto or towards the ground. And then our toes could push towards the ground as well here. And we slowly come back down. We straighten the legs and bring the hands somewhere behind the legs or feet and send those closed feet towards the back, coming very slowly into Halasana. So full plow. And as always, we don't have to have the feet on the ground. So if that isn't happening for us, just keep the hands at the buttocks if you need to. But if you have the feet on the ground, find that connection and breathe. One more reminder, if that feels uncomfortable for the spine, it's probably not good for you. So <laughs> just make sure that the neck in particular is happy here. And that goes for when we're raising the legs as well. Hands could come to the um, buttocks or to the lower back as the legs go up into Sarvangasana. Entire body, 
all limbs start with ang. We could raise the arms here. But the first step would probably be just bringing the hands to the ground behind you. And if that is fine, then arms next to your head. And if the hands spend the whole time being on your back, then that's fine too. So anywhere that helps you. You could bend your legs and bring the knees towards your forehead. And you could try from here to bring the arms around the legs. From here, knees apart, roll onto your back and nice and slowly drop the feet to the outside of the mat and raise the arms and raise your hips and reach the arms high. You could come into Chakrasan from here. If, like me, you're tired, then stay where you are. If you're in Chakrasan, you can stay. If you're not, come into a fish pose. So stretch your legs away from you. Come into your forearms, drop your head so that the crown of the head is on the ground. And then the arms could go up again. The legs could also go up, but I think we deserve a little bit more relaxation. So hands wherever they're comfortable. And if the forearms stay on the ground, because you don't want that connection of the crown of the head and the ground, that's also fine. And then slowly release. Pat your knees in towards you. And I'll be impressed if everyone, um, if someone <laughs> was still in Chakrasan, but obviously come out of that into Pavanmukhasan and raise your head, really make a package of yourself, head towards your knees. And then slowly release from here, stretch your left leg away from you and guide your right knee to the left side, coming into a twist. And maybe this twist can be a little bit deeper than the beginning one, maybe it wants to be. And you hold and breathe. Let the breath flow freely. Slowly release. Before we go to the other side, we'll hug the knees in towards us and we'll decide if we might need a little bit more. I think this is always a nice stretch, just sending the legs a little bit towards the back and then getting some movement into the legs so that you feel that stretch into the back a little bit more. But of course, Pavan Mukhasana is always is fine as well. And then breathe in very gently and sigh out. And we'll go to the other side, stretching the left leg away from us and guiding the right knee over to the left side. I am now confused which side we've done. Um, <laughs> don't listen to me, do your own thing. Um, right. Yes, left knee over to the right side rather than right knee over to the left. As always, you've got the option of bringing your left hand, which is probably idle, 
somewhere to your back, to your side, to feel the breath. But the hand could go wherever. Sometimes it's nice to have it at the shoulder to help the shoulder out a little bit in relaxing. to feel it just up in the chest. Really breathe into the belly. And then slowly from here, roll onto your back. Hug the knees in. Maybe raise your head. Maybe send your feet further to the back, behind the head. Wherever you're comfortable, stay, close the eyes. And then take a deep breath in and sigh out. <sighs> and then stretch the arms and legs away from you. And come into Shavasana. Open the palms to the ceiling. Let your shoulders drop. Feel that very gentle arch in the back, just no more than a little space underneath the lower back. Breathe into that space and breathe into your belly. Breathe in as gently and slowly as you can. And when you can't breathe in anymore, hold your breath for a few moments. And then just let go through the mouth. And again like that, breathing in for as long as we can and holding for as long as is comfortable as well. And releasing in any way, whenever you want. And on the next inhale, we stretch the arms up over the head. We point our fingers, we point our toes. And we exhale and come onto the right side of the body and slowly up to seated. And we cross our legs. And keep the eyes closed if we want. And we inhale, raise the arms. And raise the head and we exhale and bring the hands to the heart center and drop the head and then we can open the eyes and we're done thank you very much